Hello and welcome to EG Math. We will solve question number 39 of OG Verbal 2nd edition by using EG Math 3 step process. In the first step, we will understand the meaning of the sentence. In the second, we will evaluate the errors in the sentence. And finally, we will review all the answer choices to get to the correct answer. So let's begin. A recent study has found that within the past few years, many doctors had elected early retirement rather than face the threats of lawsuits and the rising costs of malpractice insurance. Now, this intense presents a comparison. It talks of a recent study according to which many doctors in the past few years have elected to retire early. They have done so to avoid threats of lawsuits and rising costs of malpractice insurance. Now, the comparison presented in the sentence is that doctors have elected to do X rather than Y. Now, let us evaluate the errors by splitting the sentence into its clauses. So, here comes the first clause. A recent study has found that. Here, a recent study is the subject and has found is the verb. Presence of that marks the presence of a clause and it reads, Within the past few years, many doctors had elected early retirement rather than face the threats of lawsuits and the rising costs of malpractice insurance. Now, here, many doctors is the subject and had elected and uh, face are the verbs. Now, the phrase within the past few years suggests an action that started in the recent past and continues into the present. For example, within the last few weeks, Amy has lost a lot of weight. This sentence suggests that Amy started losing weight in the past few weeks and the action of losing weight even continues in the present. It is not over yet. Similarly, uh, in this sentence, uh, this phrase means that within the past few years, many doctors began to retire early and this action is not over yet. It is still continuing in the present. So the use of had elected is not correct because past perfect tense talks of an action that took place in the distant past and got over in the distant past. Moreover, use of past perfect is incorrect because there is no other action in the past tense in the sentence that happened after this action. So, we certainly have the verb tense error here. Again, this phrase elected early retirement it suggests that the doctor voted for early retirement. Let's take an example here. Students elected John as the head boy of the school. This sentence clearly denotes that the students voted for John to become the head boy of the school. But the way elected has been used here in this sentence, it certainly leads to the expression ear. Now, elected in this sentence has been used in the sense of opted. Since the doctors elected to do something, that action must be expressed in two verb form. That will serve as the purpose for elected. Now again, the idiom structure in this sentence is doctors have elected X rather than Y. Now X stands for retirement while Y stands for face the threats of lawsuits and the rising costs of malpractice insurance. So while X is a noun, Y is a verb phrase and they are certainly not parallel to each other. So we have parallelism error here in this sentence. Now let's run the POE to find out what's the correct answer. Well, choice A certainly is not as we discussed just now. Choice B repeats the same errors as in choice A. Here, early retirement is not parallel to facing threats. Well, note how retirement is noun, but facing threats denotes an action, as an action of facing something. If elected retirement were a correct construction in the context of this sentence, then facing threats could have been used in parallel structure with retirement. But since this is not the case, choice B stands incorrect. Let's take a look at choice C. Choice C is uh, not correct because usage of elected is not correct in this context as we discussed in error analysis. So that makes choice C incorrect. In choice D, the verb tense have been taken care of but to retire is not parallel to facing and that makes choice D incorrect. 
Well, we are only left with choice E now and choice E indeed is the correct answer because here now the verb tense has been taken care of, elected has been used properly and to retire and face are now parallel to each other. So choice E is the correct answer for this sentence. Uh, let's take a look at the takeaway messages. Uh, we must use correct verb tense to denote the pertinent time frame of the actions in the sentence. Also in idioms of comparison, the entities compared must be logically as well as grammatically parallel. Also we must use the two verb forms to express the purpose of an action. The concepts tested in this sentence have been covered in e.g. mad concepts level 1 verb tenses 1 and level 2 idioms comparison.